What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna give you nine advanced poker tips for good poker players. This is for you guys who are serious about achieving world-class results in this game. Let's jump right into it. All right guys, so I make a lot of beginner level videos here on the channel for those of you guys who watch my videos, but I know that some of you guys take this game more seriously, you've been playing for a while, and you want some elite level strategies you can take to the table right now to start getting real results. Let's jump into it. Counting down from nine to one, here we go. Number nine is to double barrel the week regs. Now, like I said, guys, all the strategies on this list are not for beginners. If you're playing at the very lowest stakes, you're playing in home games, you're playing in super low stakes tournaments, I would not recommend using some of these strategies all that often, but let's talk about this one right here. So this strategy is absolute money in today's games. This has been one of my absolute biggest profit sources in recent years is targeting the weaker regs. Now, what is a weaker reg? A regular is one of these day-to-day -day opponents. You see them at the tables all the time. These are players who take the game seriously, they're watching videos like this, they're trying to win. These are not the recreational players who are just splashing around having a good time. Now, what do I mean by weak? I'm talking about players who do not like to go to showdown without a very strong hand. There are a lot of players in today's games that are very risk averse. They do not like to put a lot of their chips at risk without a very, very strong hand. So this gives us excellent bluffing opportunities like we're gonna discuss right now. So you've got ace-king offsuit, you raise it up pre-flop, weak tight reg calls you. So the flop comes down with a 10 of clubs, five of diamonds, and four of hearts. You bet and they call. Pretty standard situation, guys. I don't need to explain this for those of you guys that are more advanced, that have been playing for a while. This is a standard spot where we're going to be making a flop C-bet. So turn comes with the jack of diamonds. What should you do in a spot like this? Well, guys, this is the situation you want to be firing the double barrel here. A lot of beginner players will be looking at their hand and saying to themselves, I've only got ace high here. I should just check or maybe make a small bet. Guys, that's not what you want to be doing in a situation like this. You either want to be checking or better yet, double barreling, which means firing the second shell here, and you want to bet big. This is the mistake that most amateurs make, is they just bet a very small amount here, and anyone's going to call you down if they've got any kind of a 10. Even a hand like pocket nines, for example, is not going to fold if you only bet 25% of the pot, or 50% of the pot. So I recommend betting 75% of the pot in situations like this, guys. Make sure that you let them know that you're serious. By the way, I often use a HUD in situations like this for online poker. I'll link up the that I use in the description below. I'm looking for weak regulars who fold to turn double barrels 50% or more and go to showdown 25% or less, but I'm gonna have more to say about that throughout the video. Let's move on to tip number eight, advanced poker tip, and that is to four bet bluff your suited aces. Now guys, this is something that I've touched on in a couple of these videos and I've talked about in some of my books as well. And that is, as everyone knows, you should be four betting pre-flop. I'm talking about pre-flop here with all your strong premium hands, your pocket aces, aces, kings, queens, ace, king, and so on. Everyone knows that. I don't need to make a video telling you how to do that, but what you need to do as you move up is you need to have a small four bet bluffing range in order to make yourself more difficult to play against. And I specifically love to do it with small suited aces for the simple reason that they are excellent blockers, that meaning that it is more difficult for somebody else to have an ace in their hand. And also they can make strong nut hands like the nut flush, for example, with a hand like ace three. If we get three hearts on the flop turn and river, we are going to make the unbeatable nut flush. And I should mention as well, as a third point here, that a lot of people sleep on these hands and don't realize that a hand like ace three suited has around 30% equity versus a hand like pocket kings or pocket queens. So they're excellent to crack big pairs. So for example, this is player dependent. Once again, you've got ace three hearts as mentioned, and one of these loose and aggressive lag poker players re-raises you, three bets you in this situation, what should you do? Sometimes, and I want to be very clear about that, sometimes you should four bet bluff them here. Again, guys, this is an advanced play that is very player specific. You want to do it against the loose and aggressive players that have a high three bet percentage. Once again, if you're using a HUD, I'm looking for around 10% to 15% three bet percentage. If you're playing online poker without a HUD or you're 
you're playing a live poker game, you just want to look for players that are playing a lot of hands and playing them very aggressively before the flop. They can't have aces and kings every single time, guys. And therefore, in order to fight back, I often do this out of position, by the way. That means when I'm in the blinds, for example, I'm going to take a hand like this and repop them right back. All right, let's move on to advanced poker tip number seven, which is to double float the aggressive reg. So once again, we're talking about regs all through this video, guys. These are advanced poker tips. I'm not going to tell you how to beat the fish. I've got tons of videos on this channel already talking about that. So we're talking once again about how to beat good players. So using position to outplay aggressive regs with a high double barrel percentage. Once again, if you're using a HUD in online poker, you can literally get this data on your screen. I'll link up the HUD that I use in the description below. I'm looking for players with a 50% or more double barrel percentage. But again, if you're playing live poker or you're playing online without a HUD, you can also just look for players who bet the turn a lot. Remember, we already talked about what a double barrel is. All right, guys, let me give you an example of the double float technique here because it's better if I just give you an example to help illustrate this for you. So you've got ace jack offsuit on the button and you call preflop and flop comes down with a king eight for rainbow, rainbow meaning three different suits. So this is a situation, guys, where we want to be using the power of position to outplay an aggressive regular. So on the flop here, we're going to assume it goes bet call. Aggressive regular does what aggressive regulars do. They make their continuation bet here. You call in position. Even though this flop didn't hit us in any way, we know that we can't simply just be folding here every single time, guys. We're going to be way too exploitable. We have to be making calls here with hands like this, knowing that the aggressive reg here doesn't have anything a lot of the time as well. Turn comes with the 10 of hearts. Interesting card. The aggressive reg double barrels in this situation, meaning they bet again. What should you do? Well, guys, this is a situation where you want to be calling, aka double floating. The original float is on the flop, and now you're double floating again here in position on the turn. And it is very, very important, guys, that you're doing this in position. In my brand new Elite Poker Training University, by the way, I literally have an entire video, I think there's five or six examples of this specific situation where I'm double floating, and I'm always doing it on the cutoff or button, because that is how we're going to outplay this player and take the pot away on the river. By the way, enrollment is open right now. I'll link that up in the description below as well. But bottom line, guys, you want to be calling here again versus these aggressive regs and specifically on a card like this, which gives us some increased equity. If it came with a queen on the river, we'd make the nut straight. And there's still a decent chance that this player is just on some wild air ball bluff with pocket nines or a queen jack. It certainly makes sense in this spot. That hand picked up the open-ended straight draw on the turn here. Guys, the bottom line here is you need to play some poker against some of these aggressive regs and use your position to outplay them. And by the way, we are going to be firing the river on literally any card when it is checked to us. We're not giving up in these situations, guys. The whole point of a float, as I often mention in these videos, is to take it away on a later street. If they show weakness on the river, we're absolutely going to be firing at this pot. All right, let's move on to advanced poker tip number six, which is a three bet light versus the weak regs. Now, we already talked about four betting light before, so let's talk about three betting light now. And you typically want to do this against the weaker regulars. I'm looking for players specifically who have a very high fold to three bet percentage. Once again, if you're using a HUD in online poker, I look for players with 70% or more. And again, if you're not using a HUD, you just want to look for players that when they're re-raised pre-flop, they backed down a lot. They're not going to continue without a hand like pocket aces, kings, queens, ace, king, and so on. And we know those hands don't come around very often. So you want a three bet, of course, versus the regs with all your strong hands. We already know that. However, examples, ace, king, pocket kings, etc. However, you also want to three bet light sometimes. And I like to pick hands like a jack, 10 of hearts, for example. Suited connectors like the suited aces, like we already talked about before, are also good candidates. And I also do it a lot with baby pocket pairs. Now, why do I do it with this wide range of hands? Guys, I do it because all of these hands can flop massive, meaning that they can flop a straight, they can flop a flush, they can flop uh, a two pair, they can flop a set if you got a small baby pocket pair, because we are going to get called sometimes, guys. And so it's very important that you pick hands like this that have a high nut potential, because when they call your three bat with their pocket jacks or their pocket queens, you want to be able to nail the flop sometimes and end up stacking them in these situations. So once again, guys, look for weak regs. Do this against the players who like to back down a lot pre-flop when they don't have a really strong hand. All right, let's move on to advanced poker tip number five, and that is to simply memorize a good pre-flop starting hand selection chart. I've included one 
on your screen here for both nine player and six player games. So it's gonna be all pocket pairs, nearly all Broadway hands, and a lot of the hands we just talked about, suited aces, suited connectors, and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna go deep into why I pick all of these hands, but as you can see here, I'm playing roughly 20% of hands in six player games and roughly 15% in nine player games. Through my nearly 20 years in this game, over a decade as a professional, I've found these to be the best ranges in these types of games. And if you wanna download these charts, by the way, I've included them in my free poker cheat sheet, which will be the top link in the description below. Let's move on to advanced poker tip number four, guys, that all good savvy poker players know, and that is to always target the fish. Guys, amateur poker players just sit down on any poker game and expect to have success, and it often doesn't work out so well for them, whereas good poker players, they understand where all the money comes from, and as you move up the stakes, you are going to have to become better at quickly identifying the fish, the mark, the recreational player at the poker table, and ideally getting on their left. So I put the image on your screen there. This is from one of my online poker tables. As you can see, I am on the left of a mega fish in this $50 buy-in cash game online. This player, you can see the HUD stats on the screen there. This player is playing a crazy 55% of their hands. Remember, we just talked about how you want to be playing about 20% of hands in a six max game. This player is playing almost three times as many hands as I would recommend. There is no way on earth this is going to be any kind of winning player, even a break-even player. This is 100% a fish, a recreational player that is going to bleed tons of chips over the long term to you guys you want to get on the direct left of players like this and pay heavy attention to your game selection as you move up this is literally how I've made a career out of this game guys is doing what you see on your screen right now mic drop let's just move on to advanced poker tip number three which is to abuse the limpers this is probably something that some of you novices have already figured out that this is an excellent way to actually play against the recreational players I think it's the only actual strategy versus the fish on this list. So basically guys, when somebody limps preflop, which is basically what the rec players do, this means they're just calling the blind preflop, by the way. As I've said before, guys, in these videos, by the way, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss my new ones. As I've said many times, I literally view this as free money. It's like somebody's dropped some money on the poker table and it's up to me to just simply pick up that money and I'm gonna do that by raising them up nearly every time with any kind of remotely playable hand. Let me give you an example. You got ace five of hearts and a $1, $2 cash game on the button. Somebody's limped. I'm gonna be raising them up guys to $8 here literally every single time. I'm not gonna go deep into bet sizing here. I've made videos on that in the past. If you guys have checked those out, you guys know that I recommend three X as a default. And then I add one big blind per limper. So in this example, big blind is $2. So raising it up to $6 would be default and adding one more for the limper. $8. All right, guys, let's move on to advanced poker tip number two. My runner up is to just call versus aggressive players. Guys, this is one of the number one things I get asked about in today's games because as you move up, you've no doubt noticed that the players get much more aggressive and much more difficult to play against, which is also the style of play that I try to teach you to play in these videos. So number one thing, guys, you need to know is do not fight fire with fire. You don't beat an aggressive maniac in poker by trying to out bluff them. That's what they do. You're, you're just playing right into their game. What you want to do instead is you want to flat call them in position. And I'll put the image on your screen, by the way, right now, the position's at the poker table. Once again, guys, we're talking about the cutoff and the button here. The reason why you want to flat call them pre-flop from those seats a lot is because you're going to get to act last on the flop, turn, and river, which is going to allow you to outplay them, take pots away using strategies like the double float strategy, for example, that we already talked about. Let me give you an example. Once again, you got pocket eights on the button and a loose player raises. You should just flat call in this situation, guys. Do not try to bluff them back. We've got a good hand here. But we don't have the nuts. We don't want to get four bet in this spot here. So we can cap the betting right now. We can go to the flop in position with a strong hand and simply outplay this player, especially if we get the right board run out. All right, guys, let's move on to my number one advanced poker tip for good poker players, and that is to 
triple barrel bluff the week regs. Once again, we're targeting the regs, guys, and this is one of my most advanced plays, but also one of my most profitable in today's games. Guys, sometimes you just gotta run a big bluff versus these weaker regulars. Remember, weaker regular is one of these players who's risk averse. They don't like to go to a showdown without a really strong hand, at least top pair, top kicker, two pair. Some of these players won't even go to showdown without two pair or trips or something like this. These are the players you wanna target, guys. And once again, if you're playing online poker and using a HUD, I look for the players where they went to showdown percentage of 25% or less. I do not bluff them. If they're higher than that, because they're probably just gonna to call me down. So let me give you an example once again. You've got a one of these baby pocket pairs, pocket fives. You raise it pre-flop and by the river the board reads a 10, 7, 4, king, ace, rainbow, meaning no flush available. So we're going to assume guys that you bet the flop they call, you bet the turn they call, and now we're going to fire the triple shell, the triple barrel bluff here on the river. Now why do we do this? Number one, we already talked about player type. This is the kind of player that does not like to go to showdown without a very strong hand. The other thing that I hope you guys notice is that this board runout was excellent for our range. Remember guys, when we raise preflop, what range of hands do most regular opponents put us on? Well, they put us in a lot of big Broadway hands that have an ace in them, have a king in them, and you're gonna notice that's what the board runout here was. Queen Jack also hit the nut straight on the river. And now what kind of range of hands do they likely have as the preflop caller? Well, they're gonna have a lot of suited connectors, middle pocket pairs, maybe some Broadways like a king queen or a king jack. I hope you guys can see where I'm going here. None of these hands like this board run out and we've put the maximum amount of pressure on them possible. A hand like pocket nines is never gonna call us on the river here. A hand like jack 10 is probably going to lay this down. Even a hand guys like a king jack or a king queen is very likely to fold to this amount of pressure here because they need to realize at this point that they're only going to win when we're on an air ball bluff like we are in this spot here which is only going to be a small percentage of our range versus any value hand like an ace king an ace queen a queen jack a pocket tens they know they're never winning here with their king jack their king queen their jack ten and so on certainly their pocket nines or pocket eights they're never winning so guys you want to be able to run a highly sophisticated bluff like this against the right players on the right board runouts i do have other videos on the channel here by the way walking you step by step through sophisticated bluffs like this. You can check those out, but guys, I hope these nine advanced poker tips help some of you more serious, experienced poker players who are having trouble moving up the stakes and getting real results in your games today. Guys, let me know if any of these tips helped you out at the poker tables, and also let me know in the comments what are your biggest trouble spots in today's games. This really helps me identify what kind of content to make in these videos in the future to help you guys out. And of course, guys, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And once again, if you want to know my entire strategy to beat the small and mid stakes games, make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. I'll link that up as the top link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been Nathan Williams with BlackRain79.com.